Hey guys, I'm quite glad that a new Halloween skin is for my most played heroes of all time, Cyclops. Although not as popular anymore, I think that a lot of players really underestimate this hero. He can still do extremely well if the user knows what he's doing. Cyclops is one of the mages with the most HP, which helps a lot clearing the jungle faster. But at level 1, it's recommended that the tank or support help him take it, or else it will just take too much time. Also, they have a Franco, so the assistance from the tank is needed even more. But it seems like our Jawhead decided to go for the risky play and try to steal the red. This is a mythic lobby, so the enemy will usually expect this kind of play. This is the kind of start I was hoping for. Good thing that I hit the creep in the bush. The enemy is playing extremely aggressively right from the start. That was kinda unlucky. But a lot is happening in the early game. Selena just doesn't miss her stun when targeting a rebel. Calling GG already. Not a good mindset when playing a PvP game. Just because you didn't exactly get a good start doesn't mean the game is over. Interesting. Okay. Even though the team's morale is at all time low, I really didn't think the situation was that bad. I just have to make sure to keep up with the farm and eventually there will be a chance to turn the title battle. Cyclops becomes extremely strong once he gets his second core item. Not gonna lie, but things are starting to look quite dicey. Bell is literally just food for Selena. The whole enemy team is farming pretty well. We gotta make something happen soon, or this is just going to become more difficult to make a comeback. Although I got a kill, we give them two in return. Never mind, make it three. At this point, it's extremely important that I don't die as well, or my farm will get delayed by a lot. The only chance we have right now is me farming the core items before it's too late.
It was at this moment. Bloody Retribution is pretty OP. Whenever I'm playing as the jungler, almost 90% of the time I use the Bloody Retribution. It's just really helpful. The momentum is shifting, but we are still in a very vulnerable spot. If I let my guard down and get caught in a gank, they can easily snowball from that point. Farming is way more important right now. It's a good idea to take the blue buff first before doing anything else. Especially on a hero who uses a lot of mana. I'm paying to signal the fighter to go back to his lane and defend it. We shouldn't let the marksman push and free farm like that. I noticed that Erling had low HP, so I decided to contest his blue, because without it, he's a lot weaker. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Whenever your team is losing badly in the early game, it's really important to keep your composure and not let the situation take your focus away. A lot of players underestimate how much HP Cyclops has after the mid game. He gains a lot of HP per level compared to other DPS heroes. Most of them build Athena shield right away. I should have waited until his effect ran out and then I could re-engage him. Moscow is the main problem, so during the team fight, I will try to focus on him first if I see he's out of position.
after my old land, pay attention to how I keep repositioning myself in order to avoid getting focused, while at the same time still inflicting as much damage as I can. Here, I'm going to anticipate Linscape route. 